people said we look alike. Anyways, I could use a hand or something. Wow! It's like looking in a mirror, right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in! Let's go! So, there's a new movie. Vanguard Force 10. Yeah, I've seen the teasers. And I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standing you set on the last one. Have to do your own stunts? Well, let's see what we can do. We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and... Um, hang on. You do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Leave the costume on and pretend to be me. 200 yards. Turn right. Turn right. Horizon Arcade will begin soon. Why not say hello to the other drivers whilst you wait? arrived at your destination. Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. <coughs> mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Downhill escape stop sequence. Action! Right, old Victor. Um, this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver can do. That was Mike Steele. He does the stunt direction while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. Obstacles ahead. You haven't done this before. Just keep your foot down and take the heat, okay? <laughs> Not the first time. Now, keep a tight line through here. Don't know about Victor, but that looks mint to me. Victor's in the aerial unit. Says he likes to have a god's eye view. Hang on, I'll put him on. 
We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Vehicle is our canvas, the car our paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 will be our masterpiece. Andro, let's go! to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm <laughs> preparing. Brilliant! Uh, I haven't seen that kind of driving for years. Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? C25! One flew over Cobalt's nest! Action! Now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape! Not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I'd like to rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts! Barricades and rats ahead! Did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? So, I have some ideas for some improvisation. We could do a scene along the beach, or around the airplane graveyard. I'm not sure which, so... You choose. Along the beach? Yeah! I can think of some stunts. Spanish on a little card. 
really might be a bit of fun, but for everyone's sake, I'm just gonna say, next one is a skill song horizon. Vamos! Hey Sparky, guess who's halfway towards securing funding for our next adventure? <laughs> that would be me! <laughs> Boom! Oh, sorry, everyone thinks your driving is very impressive too. Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. Brilliant kid! I mean, frankly, sorry, don't know why I said kid there. Take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do. Still not talking, eh, Frankie? What a surprise. Let's get on with it. Improv scene! Search scene! Action! Yeah, so the search is part of the flashback in Act 3. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Just throw the car around a bit or something? Oh, I haven't seen driving like that since... Well, anyway... Slam the route and improvise with your car. <laughs> Should I tell Victor is really behind the wheel? Just kidding, Frankie, I'm just kidding. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. 
Uh, Mike, glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're going to keep Victor in the dark, he'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Time travel volcano jump! Action! Uh, Mike? Did you just say volcano? Jump? Come on now, kid! That's not the opening ceremony. Hump. Between us, yeah. No need for Victor to know. You can walk along in the dark. Hey there, kid. We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. Hey there, Frankie. No, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Dr. Strangeguard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. Hang on there, I'm in here too! Victor's on the phone. Keep it tight, kid. Victor! Senor Steele, Frankie's driving is exceptional as always. But uh, why did I just catch a glimpse of another Frankie relaxing in his trailer with a mug of lemon tea? No, uh, that was a dummy. It was a stunt dummy. Gotta go, Victor. Bye! Done. It's good to be working with you again, Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. Problem on Vanguard. Meet me and Frankie when you can. Welcome back to Pulse, and I know we've come a long way to Mexico searching for new experiences, but Horizon, some things never change. Skill song, double scores for this next track. Off you go. The director was asking why I'm not doing my lines in the stunt sequences. 
Don't worry about it, Frankie. I'll cover for you. Hey, kid, you ready for the next set? Sure. What's the stunt? through this. What's my motivation? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. I can explain, Mike. And that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depth. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. If it helps, imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue. Perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. You force me to put. gonna look great. And there we go. That's done. Only one more stunt to do. I'll call you when we're set up. Hey, kid. Next scene set up. Meet me with the stunt unit. laying around in a barn somewhere near the festival. Something classic, equally character... Right, this is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Data offload stunt sequence. Action! Right, we've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave, and get to the destination as quick as you can. Units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to change his mind, or ask for reshoots, or anything like that. Right? going off the deep end. Something about product placement. Can you drop by? You have arrived at your destination. There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, 
Zai... what now? Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. Scene one or three. Uh, something at the festival. Floor it, kid! Straight through the festival! Hit the jumps! Apparently the scene's got to go right through the middle of a race or something. Tell Scott Tyler not to flop his lines this time. Wait, wait. We're putting the festival in the movie. And Scott Tyler's got lines. That's right, kid. Up through here. Head for the ramp. Cue the drivers. Cue Scott. Where is Veronica? Well, she's at the market, because we saw her there in the previous... Hey there. So, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive! I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take! Action! I'll do the first section, and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just... drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time! We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. Got a bad feeling about this. See, see, you are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Cobo straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and... Fine! You're gonna make it! Go, go! Quick! I can't act and drive at the same time. The plane's spinning up! Get to the airfield! Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy! <laughs> Whoa! This thing can move! Uh, we need a line here, I think. Uh, Frankie, would you provide something for me, please? Now, right turn and follow the plane over the jump. The stunt driver learned to jump, Frankie. You're out of a jump. Not bad. I mean, I have a few minutes. What Frankie said, just hit that jump and not the plane. <laughs> I love my life. Both of you! I couldn't tell from watching the feeds! Amazing work! Great driving! And, I mean, reasonable acting too! 